Today we will precisely figure who is here with the help of Asif Manvi and Samantha B. Here's what we are going to do. We are going to count off. <laughs> I'm just figuring out where Jen will start. <laughs> All right, well, what I want you to do is when you get the mic, just say your number, like one. And then identify your demographic characteristics. So like, one, Native American lesbian. <laughs> Two, Chinese American pensive. All right. <laughs> Let's start down here and we'll work our way through. Yeah, Who's first? <laughs> All right, you're first. Okay, so you're going to say one and tell us about yourself demographically. Uh, one, half Same Mexican, thing. half white. Ooh! Any other skeletons in your closet, sir, that we should know about? There you go. Let's go two. We need two. Two. Okay, so number two over here. All right, so number two, go ahead. <laughs> okay, I think I've got number three. Is that a single here. white female? <laughs> <laughs> number three. Tell me who you are, Tom. Uh, three, I'm Jill, Asian American from Taiwan. Yeah. <laughs> um, I like and by the way, you. wearing a very sensible hat. <laughs> <laughs> Who's four? Okay, we're four over here. Four, I'm um, American, single. Stuart, you know I'm a 47-year-old married man, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. You know, this is going to take a while. This is not... By twos? Yeah, you should do it by twos. Okay, good. Okay, so I don't... Number yeah. six. I'm really feeling America here, though. I'm really feeling the diversity. I'm really feeling... I am, too. ...a lot of different things, and it's... John! What is oh. that... Steven? Oh. Steven? Is that you? Yes, John. It's me. Steven, Steven. Steven, Steven where, Colbert. Where are you, Steven? I'm trapped. Trapped where? I'm trapped in, in my hole. fear bunker, John. What? <laughs> Here, Chuck, can we get the comm link to the fear bunker up on the jumbotrons? John. John, can you see me? Oh my God, Steven! There you are! You look terrible! You really... Steven, I have to tell you, you really look terrible! Wow! Thanks a lot, John. Wow, that was hostile. Steven, I don't understand. Why, why are you in a bunker that you're trapped? What, what's going on? What, what's happening? John, my fear bunker is 2,000 feet below the stage. I'm right below you, encased in solid bedrock. Well, come up. We've got a rally to do. You, come up. Just come. It's, it's easy. <laughs> no, John, I can't. I'm too afraid. There's nothing to be afraid of. What are you afraid of? Well, mostly I'm afraid that no one showed up to our rally. <laughs> uh, I think you're okay there. Can you let him know you're here? <laughs>
America. Hello, multitude on the Washington Mall. Oh, oh, this feels right. Where have you been all my life? Thank you for being here today to do our bidding. Bow before us, minions. Kneel before Zion. No, no, no kneeling. There's no kneeling. There's no bowing. There's no kneeling. These are reasonable people. This is. They're reasonable for now, John. But soon there'll be a mindless panic mob. Once I release the bees. <laughs> release the bees. <laughs> Run for your lives! Hide your children! Hide under your children! Run. The bees are coming for you! They can smell fear! There, there are no bees! There are! There are no bees! They're just, if I may, they're just, they're just making bee sounds. There's no bees. Ladies and gentlemen, cut the sound, Chuck! But, ladies and gentlemen, if you have a bee allergy, Run for your lives. <laughs> There's nothing to be afraid of. It's fall. There's no bees. Okay, not a bee allergy, but what if they have a peanut butter allergy, John? What difference would that make? Because I have smothered my bees with peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't easy. The trick is to coat the bee, the queen bee first. <laughs> Can't you feel the peanut butter covered bees crawling up your pant leg? <laughs> Steven, you're, Buzz. you're deliberately fabricating fears that don't exist, so please. <laughs> no, John. I am not. I am simply raising awareness of potential dangers and then allowing an informed public to decide whether to cower in terror <laughs> or to die bravely. <laughs> it's just what it is. That's just how we roll. Well, let's find out, John. Let's do that. Let's find out who's here. Let's do that. For. All right, listen up, everybody. If you're here to restore sanity, on the count of three, I want you to whisper, I'm concerned with the direction of the country, but I'm open to hearing a variety of ideas. One, two, three. Quiet, John. <laughs> but that for a whisper, I thought that was actually quite large. That was, that was okay. Large. Now, if you're here to keep fear alive, on the count of three, let me hear you say, <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> I won! <laughs> I want to thank the Roots! No, this is not... I want to thank the Roots, too. But this is not... <laughs> if you all don't mind, I would like to move on to a more traditional start to a rally. Ooh, a book burning! No! <laughs> a benediction. Here to deliver the Rally to Restore Sanity's benediction. Please welcome... Father Guido Sarducci. You can see us. <laughs> We're having a wonderful time. It's a group of wonderful, wonderful people. And we want to thank you for getting all of us here safely and making it so easy to find parking spaces. <laughs> well, relatively easy, you know. I guess it's easier than usual because a lot of people left town when they heard we was coming. <laughs> thank you. And as long as I have your attention, God, if I could ask you something, one question we would like to know. You know, on Earth, we have many different religions and different beliefs, and everybody thinks they're the right one. So if you could give us some sign, what is the right religion? 
uh, you know, uh, rain the ball, some swans could uh, fly in, whatever, you know, use your imagination, you know, <laughs> you, what? But so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go moment. over the religions, the names of them, and when I come to the one that says, yes, that's the right one, then do it, if, you know, if, if you like, please. <laughs> I'm not going to do it in alphabetical order. I'm not very good at that. Uh, okay. Methodist. Yeah. You know, I don't think cheering is, is the sign. <laughs> I know you might be Methodist, you know, and, and you know, you're trying to influence God, but I don't think lobbying. I know this is Washington, but still, you know. I, I don't think so. Episcopalian. <laughs> Roman Catholic. I'm going to cheer it up with it. Roman Catholic is a sign, any sign. Uh, testing. <laughs> is this thing working? Is it loud enough? Testing. Well, maybe. I want to broaden out any kind of a Christian religion, maybe any any Christian religion. Did anybody feel like a little wind, you know, wind <laughs> coming? A little bit. Okay, now I'm going to go to an oldie but a goodie. Judaism. <laughs> Anybody here? Have an Aguila? Okay, this may seem like a hard turn. Islam. You know what's interesting? Both these religions, Islam and Judaism, both, they don't eat the same meat, but they don't get along. What's with that? Don't you think somebody could say to them, uh, they don't eat pork, you don't eat pork. Let's build on that. <laughs> <laughs> Buddhism. Nothing, no. Maybe nothing is the sign for Buddhism, you know? For <laughs> <laughs> sick in that one. <laughs> Rastafarians. There will be a lot of Rastafarians here in the mall this afternoon. You know, God, we only got the permit of three o'clock. There are so many religions and so little time. So maybe, you know, what I could do, it, or what you could do, if you could put a halo around somebody's face, Maybe put a tattoo on, on the face, you know, a frog, a, I don't know, an anchor, a snake, you know, all kinds of spirit, a guard, snake, whatever. And then we could say, hey, there's the guy or the woman with a snake on the face. Then we ask them, what religion are you? And we'll know that's the right one. <laughs> so, anybody care it? Tattoo in less than 10 seconds? <laughs> <laughs> Look around. You don't know if you have Easy it yourself. Wins so you, have technical to knockout. you know, this is a good way for everybody to get to know each other, too, you know? You know, the people around you, you know, say, like, you know, I'm a Sue, and you don't have no tattoo. <laughs> you say, I'm Bob, and you don't have no tattoo, too, Sue. You know, say, I'm Larry, and uh, you don't have a tattoo, but I really like your sweater. <laughs> Hi, Larry, you know, I'm Wendy, and uh, I like your glasses, you know, whatever. Just say, uh, you don't have a tattoo, uh, I don't have it. And we'll be able to uh, see everybody. Anybody? <laughs> no? Well, God, I don't know your schedule, <laughs> but I uh, imagine you must be pretty busy. You know? You've got the whole world in your hand and all that stuff. <laughs> but before I go, I just want to say, God, 
uh, on behalf of all of us, thank you for making the universe. Thank you for giving us all good things uh, like uh, trees and animals, dogs, especially. Thank you for dogs. <laughs> And, and thank you for all of the good things that we do in your <laughs> Like charity and uh, forgiveness. That's an idea we would never come up with. That's a best <laughs> for that anybody. So, on behalf of all of us, thank you very much, and we really mean it. Amen. Thank you. That's it. Thank you. 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 Thank you.